The Yeti, better known as the Abominable Snowman, is a large, muscular ape man with dark gray or red hair. It's said to roam the snowy mountains of Asia, specifically the Himalayas. While the legend of the Yeti has been passed from generation to generation by local communities, the Yeti didn't gain fame until 1921 when Charles Howard Berry led an expedition to Mount Everest. It was here when he saw large footprints that were said to belong to the Yeti. Upon returning from his expedition, Berry was interviewed by Henry Newman, who slandered the name of the Yeti, giving it the infamous nickname Abominable Snowman. By the 1950s, various mountaineers launched expeditions to find the Yeti. As the hunt intensified, sightings began to dissipate. Even the media has domesticated the legend by portraying the Yeti in children's movies or cartoons. Many argue that the Yeti is still there. The Yeti is an ancient and important part of legends and history of Sherpa and other local communities. In fact, the annual Doomji festival is dedicated to the Sherpa people banishing evil forces out of the village. Many have dedicated most of their time searching for the mysterious beast, like Reinhold Messner. In the 1980s, Messner swears that he spotted the Yeti and has returned several times to try to solve the enigma. Messner believes that the Yeti is actually a species of polar bear, although in an attempt to prove his theory through DNA testing, the hair fragments were contaminated, ruining the process completely. While there is no concrete proof to justify the Yeti's existence, many still believe, although there are many reasons to debunk the proof of the Yeti. In the high altitudes of the mountains, the lack of oxygen can easily manipulate the eyes of travelers and play tricks on their mind. Also, there's a phenomena called the freeze-thaw phenomena. When a footprint thaws during the day and refreezes again, the track can morph itself and cause confusion. And let's not forget the wildlife living in the mountains. What travelers think is a yeti could actually be snow leopards prowling on high ridges looking below for prey. In snow, four-legged animals like bears plant their forefeet in previous tracks, creating the illusion that the creature who left the tracks are two-legged. Luckily, we were able to salvage actual footage of college students attempting to find a yeti. These tapes were submitted anonymously and are suspected to be staged. Here are their tapes. We're here today in the snowy tundra of the Himalayan mountains. What are we here for skiing? The yeti! The yeti! Don't ask if I've heard from the abominable snowman yet. Have you heard from him? Not yeti. Without further ado, let's get this expedition started. Go oh, gang. What are these tracks here? No idea. Do you do you think they're from the Yeti? Maybe we should follow them. Okay, let's let's go. Wow, these are some pretty deep tracks. Oh, oh my God, there's so many of them. What do we do now? Uh, oh my God. Maybe we should follow the sound. What is that? Is, is that the Yeti? For the Yeti for 30 years. What? You have to go. What? The Yeti is here. He's here. You have to go. Oh no. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh. Interpretation is up to you, but the search for the Yeti still continues. Thank you for joining in and tune in next time.